I'm Tiffany Field and I'm the founder and director of the Touch Research Institute at the University of Miami Medical School. Um, I guess people are asking why I got into touch and how I got into touch and um, we do know that research is me-search and so it's a sort of a relevant question. Um, when I was in graduate school actually my uh, daughter was born prematurely and I happened to be working on a neonatal intensive care unit working with trying to help premature babies grow. And one of the first ways that we uh, explored was having them t uh, suck on a pacifier and they gained more weight and got out of the hospital sooner. And so we argued that if there's going to be that much effect of just stimulating the inside of the mouth that if we stimulated the whole body as in a massage, we might get them to gain even more weight and get discharged even earlier. So we began to do that and we, of course we got incredible results from the massage. Uh, I was thinking about publishing it and talking it around and uh, uh, the CEO, the then CEO of Johnson & Johnson, James Burke, heard the story and asked me to come visit. And it was kind of fun. We, we all got made up in the hallways, and men were getting all this makeup on, and women were getting makeup on, and we went into the big conference room and had a discussion about his thoughts about touch. And he said to me the most profound thing, which is that touch, he felt touch could save the world from war and disease. And became very personally committed to the mission of touch and to having Johnson & Johnson support that mission and he did. He put a quarter million dollars into developing the Touch Research Institute which became the first research institute on touch in the world. And we've gone on to publish over a hundred studies. I've, I've lost count now but um, on very important parts of uh, our, our daily experience, how we use touch and communication, how touch is such an important part of, of our affairs with our children, our love for our children and our uh, significant others, how touch it varies across cultures, how, for example, in Paris there's much more touch than there is in Miami. And in Paris, there's a significantly less aggression, and they're very highly related. The more touch we receive, the less aggressive we're going to be. We move from, from that to all of its applications in health and disease. One of the, the first, um, and, and I think most important, is reducing stress. Because stress is related to, to so much of our health and, and to so many diseases that we experience. So with massage therapy, we can reduce stress by reducing the stress hormones, by helping us sleep better, by helping us uh, do all of our daily activities better. We eat better when we're getting more touch, for example. And to go on from that to depression, how it reduces depression and anxiety and more serious kinds of stressors like that. Then we move from there to pain syndromes, which is basically why most people go to massage therapists, is to deal with their pain syndromes. And we know that they're highly related to the stressors that we experience in our lives, to our sleep deprivation, for example, to our not having healthy diet. From pain syndromes, like we looked at a low back pain, we looked at hand pain, we looked at fibromyalgia, we looked at headaches, we looked at even premenstrual pain. And in all of these syndromes, we noted that massage therapy can reduce the pain syndromes. Related to pain is the diseases that we experience called autoimmune diseases. We have many of those examples in, in the literature uh, with huge numbers of people being affected, like, for example, asthma, like diabetes, uh, like chronic fatigue syndrome. Oh, like dermatitis and various uh, skin diseases, and uh, the list goes on. Multiple sclerosis is another example. Um, we find that the immune system is very much affected by stress and by stress hormones. So, for example, when we have an increase in the culprit stress hormone, which is cortisol, 
we find that it kills the immune cells. It kills what we call natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are on the front line of the immune system, and they kill bacterial cells, viral cells, and cancer cells. So it's important to keep the natural killer cells up and the natural killer cell activity up. And in order to do that, we have to reduce the stress hormones. And that led us into various studies where we measured these, like, for example, in breast cancer and in HIV and, and other uh, uh, the serious kinds of viral, bacterial, uh, and cancer diseases. So that's sort of been our mission now. Um, we've been looking at the gold, clinical gold standards for all of these, for example, measuring uh, glucose levels when we're talking about diabetes measuring pulmonary function when we're talking about asthma. But in addition to establishing that, that it's important to uh, clinically show effects from things like massage therapy, you also need to show the medical community what's going on underneath the skin for them to buy into uh, these kinds of therapies. So we've been looking at underlying mechanisms and uh, how it is that touch affects all of these physiological and biochemical um, phenomenon. And what it, we think, or what we're on to in terms of uh, a mechanism is that the pressure that you experience from the massage, the stimulation of the pressure receptors under the skin, is basically causing a whole physiological biochemical kind of, we call it a cascade of events underneath the skin. And one of the first things that happens is, and we can measure this through measuring uh, heart rate, is that heart rate slows, blood pressure slows, all of the sort of obvious uh, measures uh, of our physiology slow down so that we're in a more comfortable, relaxed state. And with that, then, there is uh, a whole decrease in the stress hormones, and with a decrease in stress hormones, there is the survival of immune cells. And so it's really not just that it feels good to get a massage therapy. It is just great for our health, and it, it's great at combating disease, and it's great for our relationships. And